Ever since I was little, I could do things. Things that normal people can't do. I can do things with my mind. I know that this is all kind of crazy, but bear with me here for a second. I've been told that I'm a lot like my father, but he left. I don't know why, no one does. But he, he left me something that I've never really understood. He left me a quarter. After he left, my mother kept me away from everyone. She told me that I was special, but dangerous. I don't think that's something that every kid wants to hear. But I'm telling you this because I'm different. I think that I've made that clear by now. Tomorrow is my first day of school. Ever. So, I want to make something of myself. I want to be normal. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to wait another year? I'm sure. I told you not to do that. You'll attract attention. I can't. What? I'm already invisible. Remember, if you have any issues with any of the other kids, you let me know, and I'll take care of it. Don't lash out. I know. I'll see you after school. I'm Amy. David, you're in my English and Science class, right? That's me. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, well, I should go and okay. catch my bus. Yeah. Because I don't want to be left here and everything, right. so yeah. I'll see you. All right, see you. Hey, who is that? I think his name's David. He's in my history class. Why? Toby? Oh, uh, I was just wondering. How was your day? It was fine. Are you sure? Was, was everyone nice? Yeah, Mom, I'm fine. I'm just worried. You didn't show anyone your gifts, right? No. Good. Thanks. For what? For getting them to leave. Hold the phone. Don't say it better off alone. Cause I know differently. You should know. So, where were you? I took a walk. David, look at me. I know you think I'm overprotective, but I don't want you taken away from me. You're all I have. I know. I know you think I'm hiding things about your father too, but I'm not. And there's nothing more to tell. He's, he's gone. Why are you telling me this? Because I want things to be better. I... I don't want you to think I'm hiding things from you. Because I'm not. 
Maybe if you hadn't hidden things from me before, things would be different. Who's that? Who? Tall guy, black hair. Oh, that's Toby. He's the big wide receiver. He's actually pretty good. But he's an asshole. I dated him for a while. I broke up with him. What's his name? Who? The guy running? Yeah. That's Chris. He's just kind of there. We never put him in. I thought you said he was good. Maybe he's just having a bad day. All right, well, I gotta go back to my locker. Do you wanna come? Yeah, sure. So, like, what are you? If I tell you, you can't tell anyone. Do you understand? I promise. I have gifts. I knew it! I can do things with my mind. You're a superhero? That's even more awesome! I'm not a superhero. Yes, you are. I'm telekinetic. What? I'm sorry, this is like blowing my mind. Shh! Someone's gonna hear you. Right, sorry. So, like, can you fly? No, I, I don't think so. Uh, okay. But this is like so cool. Hey, I gotta go to practice, but we gotta hang out more. This is so awesome. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, not much. Just talking about the crazy math test that we took yesterday. Oh God, Miss Lawrence, that was like horrible. I know. Well, we should probably go. I don't want to be late to science. <laughs> so don't pick up anymore when I call you up. Cause it's the beginning. Dude, you have to tell Amy. No, I can't. You have to show her. Show me what? David has something he wants to show you. Oh, really? No, I don't. Yeah, he does. It's like really cool. Okay, sounds interesting. I had to go to my locker to get some books. I guess you can show me later. Yep. What the hell is wrong with you? Do you have to show her now. Fine. Hi, Amy. Um, hey. Are you busy tomorrow? Uh, no. Why? Um, here's my address. Your address? Yeah. Um, come at 7? Uh, sure. Alright, see you tomorrow. Yeah, see ya. So, you wanted to show me a magic trick? <laughs> it's not a magic trick. Just tap it. <laughs> so what, who are you? I'm telekinetic. It means um... You can float things, right? Yeah. Huh, can you do anything else? No, I'm not sure yet. 
Oh, well, what about your parents? Can they do stuff like this too? Well, my mom can't, but uh, I think my dad can. <sighs> this, this is a lot to take in. Yeah, I know. I mean, who else knows about this? Uh, my mom and Chris, that's it. Again, you can't tell anyone. I, I don't think the world is ready. Who told you that? I guess it's always been in my head. You have gifts, David. Gifts that no one else has. You need to use them and do good. Leave it. She seems nice. Yeah, she is. And you must really trust her. After all, you did tell her about your gifts. Yeah, I, I do trust her. I thought that we agreed that you weren't going to tell anyone about them. You don't know what she's going to do with that information. She told me she wasn't going to tell anyone. And you believe her? She's not like that. After all I've done for you. I moved away from my friends and my family just to protect you. To make sure that no one hurt you. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't tell you about everything. I kept things from you. But I've been protecting you since birth. I've been the one that's there for you. Then I agree to let you go to school and you tell the first girl you meet? Stop. Who else have you told? I, I bet the entire school knows by now. Please stop. No, I have every right to be mad. I have every right to be furious. No, no you don't because they're my gifts and I can do what I want with them and tell who I want about them. You need to stop being so controlling because I trust her. Probably more than I trust you because she's not the one that's keeping everything from me. I did that to protect you. Really? Because that's not what it feels like. Well then how do you feel? I feel like you tried to shut me away because you thought I was a freak. What? No, I didn't. I don't. Really? Because that's how it's always been. You told me I was dangerous and that I couldn't leave the house because people would kill me. I didn't know what would happen. I didn't know if the government was going to come and take you away from me. I didn't know people were going to storm our doors. David, you're all I have left. I've told you a million times. Without you, I have nothing. Got my homework yet? I don't have it, Toby. Well, you better soon. Is there a problem here? Mind your own business. You're the one bothering my friends. Yeah, and what are you gonna do about it? What are you? What are you doing here? I'm here to finish what you started. I don't want to fight, Toby. Really? Because that's exactly what I want to do. No, Toby, stop! Back off! Come on, throw one at me. I don't think you'd want that. What did I just do? You need to leave. No, we're not leaving. Listen, you have to leave. You can't be here. You can't be associated with this. Remember what you can do. I have to leave. I can't stand to have my friends and family hurt. This will be better for everyone. I'm going to use this time to find my father. Maybe he can tell me what I am, what I can do, and how I can use it. On my journey to find my father, I'll take the time to save people in need. I vow not to kill any more as long as I live. As Amy said, I need to use my powers for good, because I am distinguished.
Make a move It feels like we were all 